Y'all, the trailer to Gypsy Rose Blanchard's new show just came out. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna blind react. I've seen other people sharing clips of it saying that Gypsy cheated on Ryan, so let's watch it. Are you happy? I'm very happy. I just think that I would be happier somewhere else. Come on, don't call Ken. You're probably already talking to him anyway. I want to go through my whole life being the girl that murdered her mother. You know my story. All right, now let's see what I do with my life. I have my freedom now. It's new to me. Captain Gypsy Rose. <laughs> Never had a puppy before. I don't know how to cook. It's so bad. I'm terrified. had a sex life to speak of. Ryan, the bee is fire. We consummated our marriage. <laughs> okay. Am I at risk for dangerous people? I've been getting death threats. We're, we're being followed. Call the police. My biggest fear is going back to prison. There are so many people just waiting to get me in trouble. You do not have permission. What if you didn't send me back? <laughs> I had a nightmare about my mom. I don't want to be the old gypsy. What would you change about your nose? The bump. I am kind of rushing into things and wanting to do everything all at once. She's 30 years old. She's making 17, 18 year old person type decisions. We had sex, it wasn't protected. Are you pregnant? Ken checked in. What? If something happens with Gypsy and Ken, it's gonna be your fault. He's trying to weasel his way back in because now Gypsy's out of prison. I've never been on camera before talking about anything like this. Who was that? You text him. I don't care. Delete it then. I don't want to be controlled. You're mad at me because I confided in someone. I need to have faith that she will always come back. I'm going to want a divorce. gonna be your fault christy so lifetime shared this on their tiktok account it has around 8 million views i believe so let's see some of these comments go call ken ryan i can't with that line oh this is messy i'm sat go call ken ryan the sass this is everything whoever edited this trailer did their thing why do i want to watch this so bad Oh baby, I'm sat for this. If I was Ryan, I would be scared for my life. This is the tea I have been waiting for. Go call Ken, boy oh boy. So proud of her for doing what she wanted. Never let anyone or anything hold you back from the life you want. She's still married. LMAO, how the divorce come out before the show. I wish we could watch it for free though. I will not be paying for it. Looks interesting though. Yes, so if you want to watch this, you either have to have cable or a subscription service. So like I've said previously, I'm going to live stream it on TikTok. So if you want to join our watch party, go follow me over there. This person said, wait, if Ken comes back into her life, it's whose fault? I hope not Ryan because that was Bird's choice. So they were, he was talking about Christy. He was referencing Christy because we know that when Gypsy got out of prison, Ken first texted Christy. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this whole situation unfolds. This person says, this is the only show I've seen touch on every single topic in the media. Well, yeah, because Gypsy's the one giving the information to the media and this is her reality show. Like, what do you mean? Now, Gypsy also recently went back onto Good Morning America. They shared this clip on their TikTok account. This is the only clip that they have shared on there so far. So let's take a look at that. You're often portrayed either as the victim of Munchausen or the murderer. Right. And what do you want people to know about you? Quite honestly, I'm starting to feel like they want a perfect victim and there is no such thing as a perfect victim in their mind the perfect victim would have died and so now that I survived and the perpetrator of the abuse is the one that died then I'm getting the hate okay so let's talk about that the interviewer said you are either portrayed as the victim or the murderer well gypsy is both and that's one of the main things that people took issue with in the beginning is that right after she got out of prison she said she didn't identify as a murderer. that right there was a huge turning point 
for a lot of people. It looks like she may have had some media training, at least for this interview, because like I said in my previous videos, when I first started talking about this, I did not think it was a good idea for her to do a huge media blitz campaign right out of the gate, right when she got released from prison, because she had no counseling. She had no real world experience. So she was out here saying all these things that then turned the public against her. Let's take a look at some of the comments because they're kind of 50-50. So this person says, Gypsy Rose, good for you, honey. You spoke your truth. Good for you. Stay positive. Quite smart and well-spoken. Stay strong. Well-spoken. Extremely well said. She is not a victim of MBP, but she is a schmurderer. Very well-spoken. She a schmurderer. Someone said, she will always be a victim in her own eyes in any situation gross. Now, I also know there's been some speculation that Gypsy and Ken separated and she just recently made this post on her Instagram about Ken and someone posted a video on TikTok saying that they were separated and of course, Gypsy commented. She said, not true. We are still very much together. And if you remember, Gypsy recently did an interview where she talked about Ken being her soulmate and she said that Ken was supposed to be moving down to live with her. They do live in two separate states, but I think because people haven't really been seeing her post about him on social media or make any videos or anything about him, that they were speculating that they had split up. So, who knows? According to Gypsy, they're still together, so we'll just have to wait and see if Ken does eventually move down to closer to Gypsy. Also, what are your guys' thoughts on Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her stepmother Christie's relationship? Do you guys think that maybe Mia, Gypsy's half-sister, feels some kind of way about her mother spending so much time with Gypsy, getting to go all these trips with Gypsy, getting to meet these celebrities with Gypsy, because we always kind of see Christy lurking in the background of these videos during these trips and things that Gypsy goes on, but we never see Mia anywhere. And previously, Gypsy herself has stated how she was kind of jealous of Mia. Mia basically got to live the life that Gypsy never had. And now that Gypsy's out of prison, split up with Ryan and living back at home, she's spending a whole lot of time with Christy. They're out in public together. They're doing all these things together. Heck, they're trolling the internet together. And Mia doesn't really get involved with anything. She kind of just stays to herself and does her own thing. So I just kind of wonder how she feels about all of this. I mean, she could not care, but I'm just interested to see what your guys' thoughts are. Also, I know I've said it like a hundred times, but if you do not want to pay to watch the Lifetime show or you don't have cable, I am going to live stream it over on TikTok. We're going to do a little watch party over there. So make sure you follow me and on the day that the show is going to air, I will make an event and it'll be pinned somewhere near my profile so that you can register for it and then you'll get a notification right before I go live.